when when Ja came around, I was um I was still down with TM. I was recording for Troublemakers, and uh, the content of their music at the time was just really really menacing, really raw and um quite negative. I knew that you know I eventually wanted to refrain from indulging in that kind of activity. So I knew I wanted to leave from them pretty soon. I was actually secretly seeking you know elsewhere to record job who never was down with tm I never was down with tm but when i found out the man wanted to leave i had to start my own click yes you see us now yeah what else is i was i mean when i decided to leave tm yella yella and a whole bunch of other teams you know they were confident that i was i would come over there and record with them but i was really not interested in recording with anybody that was already established I wanted to kind of be a part of something that was going to be new, something that, you know, was just starting out. New hype. And Ja was, it was just the perfect opportunity for me and Ja to get together and make some history. Tried to get old, couldn't get him. Yeah. We tried for many, many years to get old. <laughs> Until 2006, we finally closed the deal, which brought Omega and the entire TM back to Warriors, where it remains now. But um, it's all about discipline. O had discipline. Boy, he stayed with him. Them and he had loyalty, so we wasn't hating on him. I had a lot of discipline. It was a lot of respect. respect. I had a lot of discipline too. I can remember um, being like 11, 12 years old, being interrupted from playing with my toys, having to go down to Newtown, rec- Newtown Studios, with a dust heat to help grown ass men with their project, with their projects, with their writing process. So. I can remember that. I'd be sitting there playing with my toys. My mother say, yo, Dushai, he's coming to get you. And I'd be like, damn. Because I knew what that meant. I knew that meant I had to be in the studio yeah. all night. I would spend the night over there in the studio. Little ass kid. So. Yeah. And then he used to come by on the weekends and wake us up early in the morning and teach us karate <laughs> for like two hours <laughs> straight. So, I'm checking it out. Disciplines. I'm, mm. Discipline's important. So, you know, that's what it is. And, uh. Last decade, I think the best thing that happened last decade was, um, what was the best thing that happened last decade? Best? I can't go by the best. The takeover. The Warriors, number one. That's obviously the best. Yeah. Other than that, project-wise, put out a lot. Yeah, we did a lot. Say. We did a lot. It's, it's undecided, but um, the next decade is the money decade. We plan to be rich by the end of the next decade. So, yeah, thanks to everybody and um, shout out to the new generation, TFD and Cherry Hayes. Cherry Hayes, I think Cherry Hayes is a very very worthy champion. I was going through a bunch of footage last night. And he did bust his ass to get to the top. Yeah, he did. He deserves it. He does. All right. Peace.